the truck is completely buried completely buried all the way <laughs> this is in the middle of my uh, half circle drive Well, good morning, guys. It's like 9 a.m. Monday morning, and uh, yesterday I got a hold of a roll-off dumpster company to bring a roll-off dumpster up here so that I can get rid of some trash, because we still have a lot of stuff on the uh, box truck that we need to get out. And I went back inside to get some shoes on, because I get I got woke up, and this is what I came back out here to. The truck is completely buried, completely buried, all the way. <laughs> this is in the middle of my uh, half circle drive, and the problem, the big problem here, yeah I know I need to mow, first mow of the season's coming up. The problem here is just right across the south side of my drive, this is where, you see that little clean out? Well, just to the left of it there, right there, is where I have uh, my septic. And my lateral lines, or leech lines, whatever you'd like to call them, runs across the south end here and into this, uh, this center area of grass. And what concerns me is the grass usually is taller where my leech lines are. I know that sounds crazy, but it is. So here's some tall grass, and there's some tall grass right there on the other side of his truck. Just about parallel, or in line, I should say, with where his truck is. We're hoping for the best. We're hoping that uh, he didn't completely wreck my lateral lines, but... I've got pictures just in case and he told me he said as long as we don't see gravel in that rut we're fine I'm not buying that a little time will tell but uh, you know you could just be compressing all the dirt on top of the gravel that's the issue you don't have to see gravel to know that you hit lateral lines so who knows he went to go get uh, went to go get a uh, dump truck because if you look right over here you can tell where he's used his uh, diesel truck to pr try and pull him out and it didn't work so who knows what a way to start Monday morning great today we are gonna go through the box truck I gotta try and get this thing emptied cuz well I bought three more storage units today, and I still have this, the rest of this TJ Maxx hoarder unit to clean out. Uh, still have two thirds of a 10 by 30 up in Edmond that we got to go get. But either way, I bought three small storage units today, and uh, we got to get this thing cleaned out so that we can go get them tomorrow. And then we'll be back at the hoarder storage, the the TJ Maxx hoarders unit. But uh, anyways. Got uh, this great big, uh, what do you call it, dumpster here, and uh, literally just throwing a bunch of stuff in the trash, obviously just trash in the trash, but um, they got unstuck from my front yard and uh, finally got this thing dropped off, and uh, now we're just going to work on this, this right here. So let's see what we can't find today. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Uh, it's been a little over, it's been a couple weeks actually since I loaded this truck from the TJ Maxx Hoarders unit. And uh, finally some dry weather and a little bit of time to start going through it. Um, this right here is something that we'll end up keeping and more than likely putting it on eBay. This thing's easily over $100, that serger. Um, already went through this box and uh, it's really just a lot of... Uh, fabric here and uh, and then aside from that there's tons and tons of uh, uh, sewing patterns in here so I'm gonna end up lotting up a bunch of those sewing patterns not sure if I'm gonna put them on eBay or if I'm going to uh, sell them uh, 
in my YouTube auction, but who knows what we're gonna find. Let's, uh, let's start looking. Okay, so in this tub that we just went through, <laughs> all of this is trash. It's all trash. I uh, got a couple of these that we got to open here. Who knows what's inside of them. And then I found this. I am Adorations and Affirmations Part 1. And if you look in this, um, very carefully, um, St. German Press, 1935. I thought that was pretty neat, so I'll have to look that up. And, uh, found some, uh, some other fabric here, so I set that off to the side. And then we've got some, uh, clothing and some dish towels and stuff like that. New with tags, uh, not sure what that is, and of course a hole punch. This stuff is gonna go free, I'm giving it away free. Uh, got somebody coming to pick up a bunch of stuff for free actually today and we're just gonna get rid of it so I'm gonna open these real quick to see what we might have if anything okay speedy recovery okay nothing in that one and Well, crud. I have my tripod right there, but here we are. Not using it. Happy Valentine's Day. There's a picture of a dog. And I think that, yep, that's it. Picture of a dog. Cool. That'll go in the trash. So, let me take a look at this and see if this is worth anything. Okay, so with this book... Uh, it's not in the greatest condition, but uh, 1935 found one on eBay for seven that sold for seventeen dollars. That's including shipping. This will easily go first class for like three or four bucks. So I'll set that aside and we'll sell that sucker on eBay. We're about to go through this. Let's see what we can't find. Okay, so we just went through this and I just laid everything out here and uh, looky here, guys. Uh, bunch of brand new socks some of them gold toe they look uh boys and women's um brand new liz claiborne uh from tj maxx obviously wallet we got a samurai cyber squad locker bag a dudley uh the dragon locker bag uh five packs of toothpicks um, some of these trim fit boot socks here, three pair. Um, right here, some, I guess, just a fabric scrap. Brand new Speedo. Uh, what is it, sandals, I guess. This thing's just got, I don't know, this, I guess, was probably just uh, some type of fanny pack giveaway thing. Um, right here is a multi-compartment mini bag looks to be leather yeah genuine leather brand new so there's that and uh bunt pan and these i thought were really cool i'm gonna have to look these up they're made by go softly uh this too but look at this guys it's just i don't know I don't know, it's size 3X. I don't know if it's men's or women's, but it's brand new. Obviously, TJ Maxx. Or actually, that looks like Dillard's. So, have no idea if that's worth anything. Here's matching pants for it. And here's another, another with a bunch of hearts and spades and clubs and diamonds all over it. So, these are brand new. I'll have to look those up, too. So, that's everything that came out of there. I'm going to look some of this stuff up see if it's worth anything. Okay, so I couldn't find anything on these, but I have a feeling about these that there's something special about them. Uh, they're really, really neat regardless, so I might be putting those on Poshmark. But everything else, especially like the socks, I know that some uh, some vintage socks, especially brand new, go for a lot of money. Um, especially like the multicolored striped tube socks, uh, those can be worth a lot of money. 
but uh, these I couldn't find anything on and these uh, not so much either so I'll probably just lot those up and either send them through auction or uh, on eBay or either here on the channel um, that stuff and this stuff right here uh, most of this I'll just end up keeping and setting aside for um, at some point a yard sale so not a bad little haul let's uh, get into that one next okay so we've got it empty and this is what we've got right here so we're gonna take a look uh, about four more patterns here sewing patterns these will be donated this right here uh, says made in Connecticut USA Cooper I might have to look this up I don't know if it's worth anything but that's pretty neat it looks like a temperature gauge terracotta loaf pan it's in there doesn't look like it's ever been used uh, this little duster here will be donated these are brand new um, by Design Cottage, uh, poinsettia, little uh, table placemats, I believe. These are cast iron. Um, not sure why there's a hole in that one. You can see the hole there. I have no idea what these are used for, maybe for candies or something like that. Uh, those would be really neat in the auction. Um, this is brand new in here have no idea what it is it's just some type of apple canister these are new as well uh, this will be donated this right here Nutra Sweet brand sweetener that'll be donated and uh, here's some sterling silver with genuine Austrian crystal so who knows that might go in the auction that's a gun i found a gun <laughs> nice what is this wow that's a looks like an old earring that's cool um this looks to be pyrex this is going to end up being uh, donated this is donated as well uh let's look here has a sticker on it for ten dollars looks to me like an exacto knife I have no idea if there's a market for this stuff but I'm gonna try and get it out without cutting myself that's a heavy-duty sucker right there so that's pretty neat uh, let's see here made made in Japan patent pending USA Swizzler I'll have to look this up on eBay. Looks like maybe a battery goes in the back end there. Have no idea what this is, but that that looks like Bakelite right there on the on the handle. Again, have no clue what this is. Uh, let's see. This is just going to be donated. It's not sterling or anything. This says uh, Dre's Pack Pizza Set brand new nice so I'll have to look that up this will be donated uh, chef high heat scraper by Rubbermaid and here's a rolling pin and then several shirts here this is round tree in York brand new guys crazy honors round tree in York a uh, baking book and it looks like a cushion air insulated baking sheet. So that's what we got. That is what we got out of just this little tub. We still have so much more to go. Okay, so I just figured out what this thing is. It's a, it's a cake cutter. So really for angel food cake. Although I don't know how it would be used. But they don't make these things anymore. And this is Bakelite. However... Everybody else hear that gunshot? Anyways, this is Bakelite, but uh, however, it's not really worth anything. Um, so this will go in the donation pile. Okay, so I am planning on keeping this. I'm going to put it in uh, my yard sale pile. This is a uh, this is actually a grinder uh, for pepper, and it sells for about twenty dollars on eBay. This Exacto knife around twenty dollars as well. Um, these aren't really worth anything, but I think I'm going to hold on to them. 
they are brand new. I'll either sell them in my yard sale or maybe even in uh, in an auction. So there's seven of them, seven if I counted right. And uh, the thing is with placemats, you wouldn't believe it, but some of them are worth a lot of money. And I was right on these. These are um, little candy uh, candy dishes to make hard candies. Um, and this one I saw on eBay selling for over $40 or sold for over $40. I didn't really see this one. Don't know if it's going to be worth much with that hole in the side, but I am going to hold on to these, likely auction them off as well. And I held on, obviously, to the sterling silver earrings. And this, I couldn't find a pizza set of this brand, um, but it's uh, Westhoff uh, Dryzak. And a lot of their uh, utensils are going for some decent money on eBay, so we held on to those as well. Okay, we got this one empty, and this is what we've got. There wasn't much in this one, but uh, we got a longer, bur longer burger basket here uh, with a garter. A couple more pat sewing patterns. This little guy, Velcro. Um, this is a Pyrex, a vintage Pyrex uh, measuring cup. Quilter's Super Seamer Ruler Rule. Uh, looks like some uh, liners for gloves. Some of these are really, really old. They got the their wooden spools. No telling what else is in there, really. Uh, doesn't look like anything absolutely magnificent, but those wooden spools are really neat. Um, these are stir sticks. These will actually get donated. And uh, uh, I have no idea what this is. Aluminum caddy. There's your answer. There's an aluminum caddy here. Uh, this is a bread pan. Or not bread pan, I'm sorry. A uh, cake pan with a lid. And this is a solid brass. Uh, it's just a solid brass uh, something I guess probably to put uh, like a planter or something of that sort and then this right here uh, is exactly what it looks like USPS uh, 15 years safe driver uh, don't know if that is worth anything it's a pin set for uh, United States Postal Service thought it was really neat we'll probably set that back as well so we're gonna probably keep this uh, don't know about this off to look at, but obviously we're going to keep these in the longer burger basket and uh, this will go this uh, sticky back tape I'll probably put this in a crafting lot or a sewing lot so I'll hold on to that um, hold on to this as well and this this will probably be donated and these these uh, these will be donated, and of course this will be donated. So, let's see what this might be worth. It's pretty neat. And this. Long story short, not worth much. They're getting donated. Alright, so we just got through another tub, and look at what we found, guys. This is uh, some Route 66 tapestry fabric. Decent little, probably a yard or two there. This is, uh, it looks similar. I think it looks pretty much like the same. So there's some yardage there as well. And this stuff is expensive. I looked it up on eBay. This one's really neat. Um, this stuff sells for like $30 to $40 a yard. So we'll probably set this back and keep it as well as we found, obviously, some more uh, sewing patterns there and uh some more fabric this is vintage stuff man uh what does that say 1996 doesn't seem so old but that's near that's 24 years old uh so we've got more fabric here and this stuff's got yardage uh this is pretty thick stuff here and uh in my opinion pretty ugly <laughs> Uh, then we've got this piece of tapestry fabric, um, just kind of board games. I thought it was neat, so we'll hold on to that as well. And then we've got some clothing here. See, this is what she was using that tapestry fabric for. Well, hey there, kitty cat. What are you doing, Callie? Come here, come here. 
Come here, Kelly. Come here. Hey dear, kitty. Hey dear. Okay. Back to what we were doing. So she was making... Uh, looks like making clothing with it. So that was pretty neat. But all the clothing here, we're just donating. Uh, nothing too special. And uh, this is also going for donation. It's a... Uh, uh, for Park B. Smith Limited... Uh, looks like it's just a uh, floor mat. Pretty neat though. And that's really it for that tub. Alright, so we got a couple more tubs emptied out and this is what we've got here. Uh, just looks like some type of container here. Wooden cutting board with feet. That's pretty neat. A uh, couple of these things. A bra little lazy Susan not really anything of crazy interest a couple more pieces of fabric here that we'll hold on to but pretty much everything else except for that and the fabric and those and the Campbell's can uh, super recipes everything else is going to be donated all right guys so I emptied a couple more boxes here and this is what we've got um, I'm going to keep these Ziploc bags because well there's always a good use for Ziploc bags uh, a couple more sewing uh, what am I trying to say sewing patterns this was really interesting it's made by uh, Terra graphics I don't know if it's worth anything but it looks really nice um, this will just be donated um, these right here were really, really neat. There's no markings on them, but, um, they're just little vintage, uh, clip-on earrings. So those were neat. And these, they look like gold, but they're not. This is not gold. I was hoping that they were, but it's not. Um, here we have, uh, pearls and lace and, uh, perfume and another pearls and lace perfume and then this tincture uh, Merthiolate uh, Don't have a clue what this is uh, Looks like it's a topical antiseptic For external use only it honestly looks Like it's radioactive <laughs> Um Tons of pantyhose, guys. Uh, all of it uh, is vintage, new old stock pantyhose. I don't know if there is any kind of, uh, any market for that kind of stuff, but we got a bunch of them here. Um, book, and this book right here is really, really interesting. Um, it's called Sane Sex Life and Sane Sex Living. And once you get over to this page, it's uh, copyright 1937. So, I thought that was very interesting. So, I'll have to look this book up, see if it's worth anything. Uh, also, this looks like some type of, well, it's a fabric. But I think it's, uh, I think it's made, it's, it's like this so that you can cut them out and make little, I guess stuffed dolls with them and uh, we've got this little uh, just an organizer here and then we have a couple of special edition Barbies um, school time fun Barbie and holiday treats Barbie so got some really cool brand new well I wouldn't say brand new new old stock um, Barbie dolls here so those are neat. I don't know exactly what year. I'm looking for a year, but I'm not seeing one. 1997 on that one. And uh, same there. So, Barbie dolls right there. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat.